Okay, we have our first official vegan product. It says it right there on the box. Vegan Mac. Okay. See? Now, the trick is... I've made regular mac and cheese. So I don't know if it applies for this one. We'll have to see. Hopefully the same rules apply. Okay, kids. We got the microwave going and because my mother decided to play professional organizer, I no longer know where our microwave safe dishes are. So we are using two coffee cups. So here we go. We're gonna get innovative. Let him know who you are. You're Mr. Innovation, right? That's right. Yeah? Look at him over here, organizing the fridge. That's right. He's so skilled. Yes, he's the, he's the man who started it all. Mm -hmm. Look at that, everybody. Okay, but you didn't come to hear about Mr. Innovation. You came to watch me make mac and cheese. That's your, your work, so. Here we go. Uh, okay, hopefully we did that right. I'm still learning how to use microwave. We'll see. So I thought I would give a little bit of a, a tutorial on how I specifically do my mac and cheese because this is actually, from what you saw, it's actually the stovetop version where you put it on the stove and you boil the water and, and stuff. Well, the thing is, um, well, for, for one thing, I don't know how our stove works in here. This is, okay, no, it's not, hang on. This is our stove right there, but I don't know how it works. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, my boyfriend and I are legally blind. Um, so we don't know how that works. But the reason why we are microwaving it is because uh, back when I used to stay in hotels, we didn't have a stove anyway. So it was either the crappy Easy Mac and Cheese which makes me feel like I am one year old <laughs> um, or go without. So what we would do was we would put it in the microwave um, for about three or four minutes, let it sit there for another five or 10 minutes or so. Um, and then you let it get all, you know, that gives it time to soak and stuff and in fact, yeah, I think that's good enough. Um, but you let it sit there, you let it soak, and then it gets soft, just like regular stovetop mac and cheese. And then you will, well, you'll see what'll happen when we, what, when, you'll see what happens when we get there. Um, then you pour your sauce in and you're good to go. So that's kind of what we're gonna do here. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, more than 10 minutes actually, so we should be ready to go. All right, we're gonna start with the first one here. I got a strainer set up over a bowl. And you might have to go in and like, kind of coax it out with a spoon. Hang on a second. Okay, so we got it all taken out of our coffee cups. Um, yeah, so I would suggest using a spoon to go ahead and push it out because it will kind of get stuck down there. Do not use your fingers as I did one time, unless you want uh, severely scalded uh, fingertips. Um, but that's just me, you know? Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you're maybe you into that kind of stuff, you know? Just my suggestion. Okay, so now we've got our sauce. And let's see, first challenge, getting it opened. All right. In goes our sauce. And once again, we do not have vegan milk. I was such a genius. I got everything else but vegan milk. My boyfriend has Fairlife, but Fairlife is not vegan. And you can't make vegan mac and cheese with regular milk. Because, I don't know, I have a feeling if I did that, the vegan cops would come banging on my door or something. Uh... Yeah, and we don't want that. 
So those of you who may be wondering, my boyfriend is vegetarian. So I do know that in a pinch, if I do need something, if I do need to eat something and I don't have any vegan products, at least I know that his food does not contain any dead animal internals. Uh, yeah, we get along well. And I am, I take my time with mixing. So I'm going to, I'm going to say goodbye bye to you guys right now and come back when this is all ready to go. Okay, everybody, here we go. This is our bowl of vegan mac and cheese. Um, good We're going to take now. a bite. Yes, that's my boyfriend in the background, Mr. Innovative, that you guys saw earlier. He just did an Instacart order for some good food. Right, organic. Yes. I told him a little bit about you. You should, I'm the man. I'm behind the scenes, man. I'll make it possible for you. All right. It tastes cheesy. Wow. It does taste cheesy. Um, I get the feeling that if I had some milk, it would be even cheesier. But I don't. As you guys heard about earlier, I got some in the fridge. Man. Um, Who got some? Yeah, but it's the fair it's, life. Yeah, but fair life is not vegan. Okay. But I anyway, like <laughs> yes. When we make veggie mac next time, we will make. Uh, then we'll use your fair life. But this was vegan mac. So different, yeah, different, yeah, different textures and different. Uh, maybe, ne maybe, maybe, maybe next time I go out, I will go get some vegan milk. All right. But yes. This was not bad. Thank you guys for watching. Stay happy.